Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for being here. Today I'm with this lovely little Alfa Romeo GT and we're going to do something really simple but very important. We're going to change the engine oil and the oil filter. Now I'm just driving around here for a little while to get the engine to warm up and the oil to thin out and in a couple of moments we're going to head back and get this puppy done. So I hope you're going to like this video and if you do follow along and try this at home on your car. All right, let's go. Now, before I go any further, I just want to point something out. This is not the absolute correct oil to use in this car. The reason I'm using this is because the recommended oil for these JTS engines is just not available at my local auto parts store. But I know that the oil in this car is wrong anyway. It has a motor oil in it. And really what this car needs is Selena Racing Oil. So I don't have that available and I don't know how old the oil is in this car. So I'm just going to change it now with the correct weight, which is 10 to 60. And then I'm going to drive this as little as possible until I can get to the Alpha repair shop and get the right Selena racing oil. So like I said, I'll be using this, but actually what you need is this. All right. So with that said, let's go. Okay. So just before you start on doing anything, Obviously get your oil ready and have your filter ready as well. And there's going to be a couple of sockets that you'll need and these are it. Also just put on a pair of gloves. I sell these nitrile gloves which are really good for automotive work so check them out if you need a pair. There we go, nice and protected. And of course protect your eyes because you're going to be climbing under the car. Let's go. So the first thing you'll want to do is get this on the tray removed and there just held on with a bunch of screws. This one's broken for me, but um, yours might be okay. Okay, so I think that's all of them. <clears throat> there it goes. Okay, so I just quickly want to show you this. This is my under tray and like most of these, mine is broken in a few places. This is made out of fiberglass and of course fiberglass is brittle. So that looks like it's on its way. That there is already broken. And I've clearly got an oil leak from, from something, but we'll find out what it is there. Other than that, it's in pretty good condition. I'm just gonna have to cable tie that back together because that's how it came off the car. And it looks like that could use cable tile too as well. Alrighty, so here we are under the car. There is the gearbox, there is the exhaust, and just behind the exhaust here, there is your oil filter. Okay, so before we undo that, we're gonna undo this and let the oil drain out. An eight millimeter hex. Just fill the oil. Make sure there are no gritty particulates, no metal shavings. This feels good. All right, so leave that for about five minutes to drain. Now, one thing you might encounter with uh, some engines is got a funnel, but it won't, it won't sit still because all your cams are up there. So what I tend to do is forget the funnel, get yourself one of these. Basically a soft drink bottle that's been cut down. And look at that, it sits nice and flat. So what I like to do at this stage 
is take a little bit, just a little bit of fresh engine oil and run it through. With the cap still open, because what that'll do is it'll drain out any of the old fluid, any of the old oil that you might still have in there. So it'll just help flush out that old oil. Okay, with all the drip, drip, drips stopped, just wipe everything up. Take your plug. Feed that back in. And just tighten it up, this up. It only has to be about 20 Newton meters. It's time to turn our attention to the oil filter. So just get yourself an oil filter removal tool. Sorry about that. You missed the punchline, but uh, basically that was uh, just on there like so. My uh, camera stopped for a minute, but um, yeah. So now that that's off, I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. Now that that's nice and clean and we've got everything resting there, it's time to put the new filter on. Now, for whatever reason, check this out. So this is the oil filter I took off and this is the new one. Now look at the size difference. Now I'm pretty sure that what's happened is somebody's put the wrong oil filter on this car. This is probably um, a twin spark oil filter or something like that. And this is the JTS. Now have a look at how short this oil filter is. I've never seen <laughs> an oil filter this small. Um, so I can understand why somebody may have wanted to put this on there instead. But as you can see, it's a tight fit and um, I struggled with it for a couple of minutes. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna keep struggling with these larger ones. I'm gonna put the right size one or what the auto parts store says is the right size filter back on this engine. But anyway, just a little note for you. There does seem to be two different size oil filters for these things. And on the JTS engines, at least, those larger ones, a little bit of a pain to put on. So just keep that in mind. I don't, like this obviously doesn't filter as well because it's not a big filter. It's, that thing's triple the size almost. But um, I'm just gonna make sure that I stay on top of my oil changes and then having a small filter shouldn't be a problem. All right, let's put it on. So all we've got to do now really is just screw this back on. Just hand tight is fine. Like that. All right, so really at this point, just gotta put this under tray back on. Okay, so I've put about four liters in. I'm going to put the cap on, start the engine and get it off the ramps. Just going to check the oil. See where the level's at. Just wipe that off once. Stick it in. Man. Pull it back out. And it's right at the bottom dot. 
So it looks like we need about half a litre. Okay, let's have another look. Yep, and that looks like it's right on the second dot. And that's precisely what you want, nice and full. No fuller than that. Okay, there we go. Nice and full of fresh engine oil. New filter is back on. Now, with these JTS engines, they do like a drink of oil, I am told. So make sure you keep it topped up. Check it often. Don't run it low of oil because while the oil is expensive, the engine is more expensive. So spend a little bit of money on oil and keep it topped up because if you've got to swap the engine because it blows up, that's going to be a lot more money. <laughs> so there you go guys that's how easy it is to change the oil in an Alfa Romeo GT not very hard at all just keep an eye on the level of your oil to make sure that things don't get too low otherwise goodbye engine and all you're really going to need are those three little sockets you'll need a t30 you'll need a 10 millimeter to undo the under tray and then you'll need an eight millimeter hex socket to um, undo your drain plug after that things are really really easy just top it up anyway i hope you like what you saw and if you did please give this video a like and if you like to see more videos from me where um, I work in my garage on car projects, much like you could as well, then please consider subscribing so that you can see when I post up something new. But all in all, a really easy job today and I hope this helps you uh, get the oil changed in your Alpha. <clears throat> but enough chit chat from me. I hope you like what you saw and if you did, go ahead and try this on your car. See you next time.